Alexa Ting. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up and use Apple Pay on your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and Mac. I'm here at Nourish Cafe in San Francisco to show you how to set up Apple Pay on all your devices. And I use it to buy this delicious avocado toast. Mm. Mm. That's a delicious toast. Apple Pay is basically a digital wallet on your iPhone and other Apple devices that lets you buy things in stores, in apps, and online. You can also use it to send and receive money via iMessage. Oh yeah. Essentially, when you're at a store or restaurant, you tap your iPhone or Apple Watch at the register to pay. Despite what it might look like, my credit card number is actually not stored on my phone or on Apple servers. Instead, Apple Pay uses the specific device number of my phone and a unique transaction code to protect my information. I love it. Protection. Also, it's fast, like Usain Bolt fast. In the US, Apple Pay is faster to use than a physical card. Apple Pay has been around since 2014, and yet a lot of people haven't set it up or just don't use it. And that's why I'm here to help. Hey, so grab your iPhone, and by the way, this same process works on your iPad, and let's get started! Go to Settings, then Wallet and Apple Pay. Then tap Add Card, and follow the steps to add a new card. Then you can use the handy dandy camera feature to capture your credit card number. Then you type in the credit card security code and select next. A terms and conditions page will pop up. Tap agree once you've read it. Wink, wink. Next, you have to wait for your bank to verify your card. This can take a minute or an hour or who knows how long. My bank sent me a special code I had to enter on my iPhone to verify the credit card and that was it. Side note, you might be asked to use the credit card you already have on file with iTunes and the App Store. If so, just enter the card security code. Hey, to use Apple Pay, look for the Apple Pay logo or for the wireless payment symbol, which kind of looks like someone's taking a Trisket and stabbing a sideways Wi-Fi hotspot. Either way, when prompted, hold your iPhone over the terminal and your card pops up on the screen. You'll be prompted to verify using Face ID or Touch ID. If you have an Apple Watch, you can use it with Apple Pay 2. To set it up, open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone, then tap Wallet and Apple Pay. From here, you can select the card or cards you want to use, as well as some other settings, which we'll go over in a moment. Now, if you have a Mac with Touch ID, you can also use Apple Pay. Okay, not that way, but you can use it for online purchases and lean on all of Apple Pay's encryption power and privacy around what you buy. Who bought some furry suits on Etsy? <laughs> Certainly not me. <laughs> no, I really didn't. You're not, you're not gonna include that, are you? No, okay. <laughs> to set up, go to System Preferences, then Wallet and Apple Pay. The process is very similar to what we did for the iPhone and iPad. Hey, now that you have all of your cards added to all of your iDevices, let's tweak some settings to make them easier to use. In the Wallet and Apple Pay menu under Settings, the first thing you'll see is Apple Cash. In the United States, Apple Cash lets you send and receive money with friends and family using Apple Pay on your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Look out, Venmo! So if your producer bought you a kombucha and you owe him money? Where's my booch money, Patrick? I can send him with Apple Cash a message and pay him back. This is some good boot. I also recommend taking a moment to review some defaults. Here's where you can set the default card that pops up when you use Apple Pay. Also, you can set defaults for shipping addresses, email, and phone numbers, which are used for online and in-app purchases. You can also add your transit pass to Apple Pay. This feature has only rolled out to a few cities, but there'll be more on the horizon. While it's not supported in San Francisco, I'm just imagining how awesome it'll be to hop on the subway with just my Apple Watch. I mean, I'd be wearing clothes too. I'm tough. From the same settings screen, you can add additional cards as well as trigger Apple Pay to open up by double tapping the sleep wake button or the home button on older iPhones. Last, a couple quick housekeeping tips. And if there's one thing we like on how to do it all, it's housekeeping? 
I don't know. So first is, if you want to use Apple Pay across all your devices, you have to add your credit card to each device individually. Also, if you have a newer iPhone, you can add up to 12 cards. If you have an older one, you can only add eight. If you have any tips for using Apple Pay, throw them in the comments. Also, if there are any how-to topics you'd like to see us cover, throw those in the comments. Until then, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe for more delicious how-to video. Mm. Maybe how to make avocado toast. Pretty good. Cool.